Hey everyone, I'm Frankie Stokes, your host for Varsity Voice. Tonight we have Coach Phil Basketball and North Penn Baseball, so stick around for a great show. Okay, Coach Tim Mack from Coatesville Basketball, and we have Sarah Houston with us tonight. Um, so your 2017 uh, schedule ended abruptly. Well, not abruptly, but I'm in the districts to Conestoga. Um, so let's just talk about that game for a second. What were some of the things you took away from that experience? You want to go first or you want me to? You can go first. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we're young. Uh, we had a really successful season the year before. So um, Sarah actually was the only starter coming back. Um, the thing is that um, our girls learned a lot this year and to play at that level was incredible for them to get some experience. So hopefully moving forward, we can learn and then move on. Um, I definitely think it was a good experience. Um, it's good to just get a feel of what districts is like, especially being a young team. I thought we also took away like never giving up, like always having to work hard until the last minute. Okay, and Sarah, you were also named as one of the top scorers in Southeastern PA. What was that um, accolade like for you to receive? Um, it's always an honor. Um, it just shows me that I have to keep pushing myself and working hard to reach and get higher goals. And you were also a team captain. So how much um, does it mean to you to carry that role and just really take on that team leadership? Um, it actually means a lot. It's a big commitment and something that I just have to keep working on. Um, Definitely like dedication and just keeping the team together and showing them good examples. And coach, as, uh, as for you, what is the process for choosing a team captain and what are some of the traits that you look for? Well, actually it, it's, it's very hard uh, because we don't really do the individual thing. We're more of a team. Um, Sarah is one of the girls, she played varsity as a freshman. Uh, she's done everything that we needed her to do in the program. So it's just the fact that she has the experience and she works really hard and that's why that made it a, a easy choice to pick her but a difficult choice to kind of single out some some captains so playing right away on the varsity team how long have you been playing basketball and how did you really get started with the sport um i've been playing since i was five and i started when i was little at the y and then ever since i just fell in love with the sport so i've always wanted to just play au like never stop just keep working on and off and yeah and coach, as for you, how did you come into this role as the uh, co as the coach for the best for, team? For coach role, mm -hmm. um, I actually was the assistant coach at uh, Downingtown West, and um, you know I, I I loved being there, and um, I was good friends with the head coach at Coachville. So we were talking and all, and they had they had an opening, and there was opportunity there, and I knew that um, if I stayed there and worked, that I would ho hopefully one day be the head coach, and you know I was in, I wanted to be head coach again. So it ended up working out. So I went over and, and it was actually that year I ended up being a head coach. And how has this experience helped shape you as a person on and off the court? Well, it, it's been great. Um, I've been at so many different schools that um, being, being with these girls here, it's a challenge because they're, um, we, we're very diverse. So uh, being with a bunch of teenage girls every day and uh, trying to teach them to take everything and put it on the court for two or two, uh, two and a half hours is an experience in itself there. And Sarah, as a junior, are you looking forward to your senior year? Yes, especially since we're a young team. Um, I can't wait to see what new skill levels we have coming up and what we took from last year to put it on the court this year. And what are some of the personal things that you are really hoping to improve on? Um, definitely my defense and shooting and scoring more. And have you thought about playing um, beyond your high school years? Yeah, I want to. I don't know wh where I want to go yet or what I want to do, but I know that's something I want to do. So, what are some of the challenges as being a student athlete that some people um, might not consider? Um, definitely dedication, even on the books, like working, going to practice, and then doing homework after. It's something that you have to stay on top of, definitely, to be a student athlete. And coach, as for you, I'm sure that you are involved in their academics as well as just yes. their performance on the court. Yeah, and, I, and that's the challenge to make sure that I reinforce that they have to stay balanced. They have to know that, you know, sometimes you got to put their phone down, okay? You go from school, 
to practice, go home, get your work done, and then we go go back and do the same thing. Uh, the thing that was tough with us this year is we have a lot of young girls that they're used to playing like 10, maybe 12 games, and we throw them into a high school schedule that's we play 22. <laughs> you know, so it was a real big difference for them. Okay. And for anybody watching, if you have any questions for Coach Tem and Sarah, please let us know on our Facebook feed. And after the break, we'll have more Varsity Voice coming up. Hi, I'm Tommy Green, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. When I was in high school, it was very important to me to show scouts what I could do. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you're a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY. Up next, I have a phone interview with North, North Penn baseball head coach Kevin Monero, and he talks about the importance of getting rid of the, t the captain title. Check it out. Hi, everyone. This is Frankie Stokes, your host for Varsity Voice. Uh, tonight I have on North Penn varsity baseball coach Kevin Monero. Kevin, thank you so much for joining me tonight. No, Frankie, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. So I know that uh, besides um, coaching, you're also an English teacher at the high school? That is correct. And you're also a North Penn alumni. Yes. Okay. So why don't you just talk us through your journey and how you became uh, the baseball coach at North Penn? Sure. Um, well, after I graduated North Penn in 1997, I went to LaSalle University uh, where I played baseball. I was fortunate enough to have uh, four years of baseball at LaSalle. Um, so when I graduated from college and I applied for teaching jobs, um, I was also equally lucky that it was a time when they were hiring a lot of teachers and a lot of English openings in North Penn. So I happened to get an interview here. Um, I got hired. Actually, I also got hired at Council Rock, and I was ready to go to Council Rock South and join Greg Young's coaching staff there as well. So I had to make a tough decision, but I opted to come back to North Penn, it's where my heart always was. And I started out here um, in the fall of 2002, and Bob McCreary brought me on as his, one of his assistant coaches right away, and that's what I did for nine years. So for nine years, I was an assistant under Bob McCreary. At the same time, I was the head coach at Northland Legion during those years. We had... A lot of very good years there and a lot of good years in North Penn during that time. And when Bob decided that it was time for him to spend some more time with his kids who were involved in a lot of activities and he gave up the head coaching spot, uh, he recommended me for it. I uh, interviewed and got it. Um, but no question that uh, what we do here now is just has so much to do with the experience that I got and, um, and the stuff I learned under Bob for nine years. So would you say that uh, being an alumni um brings a whole different aspect to your coaching method and just how much you just really are invested into this program? I think it does. Um, I think one of the things that I've always uh, been, I've tried very hard to, to, to tell, talk to our guys about is that all the kids that are in this program now, um, all the coaches that are in the program now, that we are just a very, very small part of the past, present, and future of what's going to happen here. We're just little blips on the radar. Everything we do affects the program and everything we do leaves our mark, but um, it started way before us. So, you know, as an alumni, I have a lot of appreciation for the guys that came before us. I know what the program was like. I was here. I know what it was like before I got here. Um, we've done a lot. We try to do a lot in the last few years to bring alumni back in. We've started the North Penn Baseball Hall of Fame. We've done a few alumni games. Um, so just really recognizing the importance of that and having a little bit more of a personal connection to the history, um, I think it's helped a lot in some of the messages that we try to send to our guys that are in the program now. And how has becoming um, the coach helped shape who you are as a person on and off the field? You know, when you get into coaching, when you start out, um, especially if you're young, like when I started out, as my, when I got my first head coaching job as a leasing coach, I was right out of college. I was, you know, 22, 23 years old. And I think you take things very seriously then, and you um, don't have a lot of patience. Uh, and it can be very frustrating. I just kind of think that's life in general for people that are just starting out out of college. But you learn as you go um, to see some of the bigger picture. And I think that's what coaching has really helped me to do. I, I think I understand people a lot better. I understand priorities a lot better. I, I'd say that, you know, we focus here at North Penn on academics and conduct um, and, and being a good teammate and doing all the right things on off the field. That is the foundation of everything we do, and I think that that really kind of gives you perspective for life, too. You know, whether that's any job you have in the future, whether it's just dealing with people in general, you always kind of look for things beyond just performance that you see on the surface. So I think more than anything, being a head coach has really taught me about people, communication, and patience. 
Okay, and your 2000 season, 2018 season officially begins on April 3rd. You guys are on the road against uh, Central Bucks East. In comparison to last year, what are you hoping to see more of from your team? Well, we had a good year last year. We did a lot of things well. Um, I've, you know, we've talked about last year a little bit, and I say, you know, we won 20 games last year. If you win 20 games in the high school season, you're having a heck of a year. And we went to a district title game. That means that we're advancing very far and doing a lot of things right. Um, but uh, unless you're standing there on the last day um, with a trophy in your hand, there's always performance-wise something you can do a little bit better. Um, you know, for us this year, we have a lot of guys back, but we also have some key components that we had to replace. And I think what we're looking for this year, um, probably more than anything else, I, I'd like to see. I don't really, I don't want to use the word leadership, um, but I just want to see our guys take over a little bit more. Um, I want guys to be out there and be confident to put a pickoff play on. I want to see guys be confident when they need to put a bunt down. Um, be confident in taking extra base when they see an opportunity. Really, just playing the game to a little bit more of a, a level of comfort, confidence, and execution that comes more so from the field and less from the bench. Um, I think that would be a big thing that would sort of help us take that next step in the right direction. And other than that, it just comes down to all the basic stuff, which is win the pitch, win the at-bat, um, win the inning, and then everything sort of takes care of itself after that. And what would be one of the things to really help uh, bring out that confidence on this one that you just described? I think it's just trust and preparation. Um, all the guys that, uh, that are going to be on the field have worked very hard um, all year. They've done a lot of things um, to really get themselves to the point where they're prepared. And I think they just need to trust that preparation. Um, one of the things we're doing a little different this year is we're not going to have any captains. Um, generally, in the past, we'd have players vote for captains. And it's not that I don't think we're capable of that, but what I want you guys to understand is that it's not just looking to one or two guys to be the voice. I don't want people to have to look around and say, well, this person didn't step up and say something, so I guess we don't have to. I want everybody on the bench, top to bottom, to feel comfortable in taking over whenever there's a moment where they can or have to. And that's one of the things we're going to try to do a little bit differently is to try to give that ownership to everybody rather than having them rely on just one or two people to carry that load. Okay, Kevin, thank you very much. It was great talking with you, and I wish you good luck with the season. All right, Frank, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. And welcome back. One final question for you two. Sarah, what was one of your favorite moments from this season this year? I'm going to have to say when we played Shanahan, it's always good to beat a rival. And coach, how about for you? Um, I guess the first day of the season when I saw everybody. Oh, and I know we're right back to right back to the grind. Okay, very nice. <laughs> well, more varsity boys after the break, so don't go away. Hi, I'm Marty Bystrom, former pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. In my experience in Major League Baseball, I know how important it is for high school athletes to gain exposure. My friends at Payroll Service Solutions are huge supporters of high school sports and the sports fan base network. If you are a small to medium-sized business in need of a payroll company, contact Payroll Service Solutions. Not only will they take care of you, they will continue to support the community. For more information, contact Payroll Service Solutions at 215-624-0922 or 866-PAYEASY. That's all we have for you tonight. Please make sure to uh, come back and check us out next Wednesday at 7 p.m. But until then, you can check out our other shows. On Monday, we have Three in the Key, which focuses on boys' basketball. And on the Thursdays, we have In the Paint, which is girls' basketball. And feel free to subscribe to our podcast and to follow us on social media at the SFPN. Have a great night. Mm -hmm.